Glow Misfits. Now this is a cool opening. I mean, you know what you clicked on? You clicked on uh, Breath of Fire 3. And that, that scene there is um, Breath of Fire 2. Those characters, I did... I mean, I think the Breath of Fire did come out in this country, but they're not an easy one to find on SNES. But, downloaded both from... Oh, here we go, Ryu. Oh, it's already looking good. And I guess we haven't got much space to type in there. Oh no. Oh no, five letters. <sighs> That's a poor number of letters. See now again, as usual, scanning around the room. Who are we going to be? Oh dear. Five letters does just, just shrink us a little bit. I mean, half a minute on snares only gives you four letters. Oh, I was going to do Link, but that's a bad name. Da da da. Okay. Run out of time, run out of time. Cool, this is, you know, this is the hardest thing ever. Screw it, he's going to be. Oh no, he's not going to be that either. Cool. He's Canon. I think I spelled it wrong, but it's the guy from uh, Star Wars Rebels Fast. Oh, this makes things a secret of man for some reason. Uh, quit, I guess that means it's done. So I think we've left the opening going. It does sort of show you what the lead up to this bit. Yeah, it shows you them finding this and getting on with it. Oh, no music yet, though. So, uh, what is it, an egg or something? So, the series has sadly kind of died. But they're always, you know, your Ryu, you're probably a descendant of a dragon race. And there's going to be Gil, who, Nina, who's the princess who can fly. And you usually end up fighting some kind of god. I mean, this is really good graphics. I saw this in the magazine and thought, I need this. Well, I think it was in Games Master. And when I bought it, it was, um, I think, first year of high school. I think the game had been out for probably a year or so. Because it only cost me in a... You know, it was like in HMV or Verge in a proper shop. It was just ten pounds, and I remember one of that trip, and it was like I had the money, and I made, I had the decision: do I spend the money on a gift for my girlfriend at the time, because I think it was near Christmas, or do I buy myself Breath of Fire three? I stand by my decision, and here we are playing Breath of Fire three. Yeah. On oh, my list of regrets, that girlfriend's on there for that and some other reasons. I oh. oh, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're whelp. We'll do use our whelp breath. Cool, let's see. I mean, this is RPG strain to action. But look how detailed the little guys are. Oh, look at that. We, we just straight up killed them. Can I control this? Oh, that is me. Oh, yeah, I love love the graphics style in this game because it's smooth. Can I rotate? I don't think I'm rotating in this game. I have been playing this not long ago. I got the um because it came out on PSP at, quite early, and I, yes, I am a dragon. I don't think I say anything. Here. Dragon. Yeah, I got the got it on PSP quite cheap, and then um, I think one Christmas after I got my Vita, I did not get my Vita straight away. The PSP version of this was on sale, and literally, I'm sure it was like one pound something. So you had to buy it. So I can Breath of Fire on the move again. Even though Sony said, if you had the PSP versions, you would eventually, there'd be a way to get them on your Vita for free. Should I kill them? What happens? Let's uh, just knock one out, then we'll burn the other guy. Unless fire is my only way. Oh, yeah, I think the game's playing itself for me a little bit. 
so we've awoken and are killing. And it's good because there's no shift in battle, it is. You know, it's just going on the map you're on. The enemies will stand positioned. I don't taste good. Is this guy working? Oh no, he's cowering. Uh -huh. So, uh, all of them, I mean, one and two are straight RPGs. I mean, so is this and so is four. But five it is still an RPG, but it's kind of actiony. I mean, it's still sort of. I mean, five's good. I will talk about that one. I'll just wait till I get to that game really before I talk about it. But this is good. A little bit of grinding required, and some every now and again. It's a solid story, and um, I'm gonna spoil it now. But there's, bit, bit, there's there's twists and turns. Oh, oh, I remember. If I hold R1, I can do that. Does L1 do something? Yeah. Completely forgot. I remember because on the PSP, yeah, on the PSP version the other, well, not the other day, I did have to look at guide because there's a little bit of umming and at the start of the game, like, how do I go here? What do I do next? It was me being silly, of course. But I was wandering around the town for a while before I realised where, where I had, who I had to annoy next. What's that? It's a dragon. One of the gimmicks of this game is you can um, have a master who, when you level up, you'll gain stats based on the master. So, like the first guy, I mean, the reason I'm thinking about this is because um, I uh, m m missed the first opportunity to get the guy. But the first guy, I, it's, a, it's like 2 HP, so you may as well become his master. So, every exp level up, you get your normal level up stats, but also. 2 XP. Yeah, I, I, I don't trust you over there. Hmm. So, see, so yeah, I think pretty sure you've worked out something's gonna ha supposed to happen. Oh? Hopefully that was supposed to happen. Oh, it was! Oh, it's by a dragon. Oh, look how cool that is. Maybe that's our old body. Our, or our father, but I'm thinking it's... Ooh, ooh, you saw his head fly back. But yeah, the, the um, master element in this game it is good. I remember, but I when I was playing it recently, I, you know, you, you meet the guy quite early on who's the first master, and you've got like a smallish window when masters come available before you sort of, you know, there's not a point in no return, but before you can see him for a while. And it's worth doing it just for, you know, you get 2 HP and... Every, say, like five level ups with that master will give you a special skill related to that master. I mean, I may be getting slightly confused with four. Because four, um. more similar. A little bit more in depth. Oh, I love four. There's, uh, some very good characters in four. I mean, there's, uh, like, a samurai dog, Sias, and he's awesome. S C I A S? I'm gonna use that name more. No, no, people don't talk about him. I tried looking for like fan art, but it's very little. I'll try to see there's a list of characters in the book. Oh, and here we go. One. Freedom. That's that is me doing that. So Ryu, the hero. Ah, um, Sister Dragon Clan, and here we go. There's Nina, Princess of Windia. It's always called that. Oh, we got Tipo. He's another friend. Ray, another friend, he's a thief. Oh, it's good. We have, there are some interesting uh, characters. I mean, looking at them, Ryu, he's a little all-rounder, but he's, you know, you can push him slightly in whatever direction you want. Nina is magic. Tipo, you don't have, you don't have for long, because it's just sort of the start at the beginning of the game. But he's sort of all-rounder, slightly more magic than Ryu. And his Ray, he's he's pretty cool. He's sort of a thief character, but he's quite hard. Then looking at the book later on, you get like a plant creature called Pecco, who can learn. Uh, giggle, giggle. Who's sort of um, lots of HP. I think his health and his, he regains health every turn slightly. 
but his stats are a bit all below average, but he's sort of a blank slate, you can push how you want. See, ah, we've got a couple other characters here. We've got Momo, she's quite good, I mean, slightly breaking tropes, I mean, she's a, well, as it says in the book, female scholar. And she's like, high magic, but she was quite defensive. And she's quite large, I mean, she's not that large, but she's quite big, so but she was quite defensive. That's all magic user, just a bit slow. And then, oh, we have Gar. He's uh, cool, not a dragon clan, but he looks a bit like a dragon, and he's like, all HP, all attack, all defense. You're lucky those curs. Oh, a whole list of magic spells in this book. Is that an analog stick I see? No. Oh, I kind of feel. I mean, I'm using PS3 controller as usual. It does feel novel when you're sort of playing the PS1 and you're using the old controllers. You're just not really used to it. Oh, you, you can't just leave him like that. And yep, haha, he's naked. Giggle, giggle. Uncle Ray. So, we've. I mean, the story starts quick. I think this is more Ray's theme, but. See, they've even put a little animation in for him. And he's holding him up with his towel, so that's, that's cool. I think there had been a few edits to this game, so maybe that towel's not there on Japanese version. In 4 there's a bathhouse scene which I didn't make it properly into the other versions. I, I, it's not really a thing anymore, but every... well actually some anime is still quite heavily rely on it. But, you know, that was your reward. Like in the towels games, like really late on. I can't say about the more recent ones, but some of the old ones, when you got it in like Symphonia, or... God, I can't remember their names now. There's Zest Vesperia. You know, it was a worthwhile event. And there's Tifo we mentioned, so here's our initial party. I like Tifo. Just the, the long hair's cool. Hopefully memories will come back all the right places to go though. Yeah, it's another mysterious youth. All these are mysterious orphans. A lean year. So if I didn't say, well, he raised a thief, but he's also... I mean, that's an actual tower, that's not like a decoration. He is sort of like Tiger Clan. Big ad for M Mega Man Legends on the back. I don't think anyone we need to worry about that. Just seeing the got their names in the other languages. Someone abandoned him. Oh! Just like me. Ah, their names seem to be the same. Still, shame the book's not like color. It's good, really good artwork these games have. And another... Um, where are we? Yeah... Uh, oh! Don't you see, Canon? I forgot about this. It's sort of a dream. Yes, that's another dragon saying about the humans. But another gimmick in the Breath of Fire is usually a base building mini game. Well, more side quests, but. Oh, I forgot about a lot of this. In this one, you build like a fairy village. And, you know, it's just sort of, I think, number of battles and time, so they grow, but you assign fairies to different things and become different shops. And I think it was, it was Fairy Version 4, but a bit more expanded on, like, different housing types, I think. 5 had an ad farm, it was really interesting. I'm kind of looking forward to playing 5 again. It's definitely a black sheep and kind of killed the series. Cannot... Have we got clothes? Hmm. 
<sighs> Yawning. Oh, he's got a dressing gown on. Well, can you guess what the save point is in this game? See, they could have just gave him normal clothes, but he's got this whole outfit. I suppose it only adds up to a few frames of animation. Ah. Yeah, see, this is, I definitely really like the graphics in this game. I mean, everything's really blocky and simple, but I just like the textures, even though they're quite simple, but... Like, this fire's layered behind the other things. My god, this is almost Minecraft-esque, isn't it? Where are we going? So you got like R1, just see if there's anything hidden around corners like that. Nope, we're not going out, we're just, let's just go out the front door then. We're trying to be smart. Clearly not the right thing to do. Oh. Yeah. Always awkward. You know, you're, you're going at an angle. Back here again. Back here again. All oh, the loadings aren't bad though. Especially after we was playing what well, we played Digimon World last. That, that wasn't the easiest of loadings to get used to. So are we going right here we go. Gonna run away. Oh, and you can see the nice monsters in the background. Yeah, the Ray and Bully, they're, they're okay. Have we got a menu yet? I'll press start to look around. Oh, just made me think, there's sort of a hunting minigame to get food. It used it, done it more in four because it was food that you gave to the fairies. I guess Ray's gonna bump into us because we got lost. There's a lot of good songs in these games. Let's see, I think I know where I'm heading. Here we go, this is the first master. We can't join him yet. Wonder like that, you're liable to get eaten up. Yeah, all sorts of people want to kidnap young Ryu. Ryu, Ryu, whichever. Yeah, this is a good song as well. I think it's just sort of a maybe just the memories associated with it. So I guess we are supposed to be here, judging by we've got a... a model. The model's the wrong word, a sprite in that outfit. We can get close soon though. No need to worry about that. Oh, that's not me. Ah, I keep saying Ryu, but I don't mean to say Ryu. We're cannon in, in this journey. Aha, you'll never catch me. Yeah, and so they should, little thieves. Well, the poor horizon, the, the way they... It does seem like the same person wrote everybody. They all, everyone sort of speaks in a similar way. Not how you'd imagine sort of the kind of outsider random thief to speak. Not oh, pajamas. Not sure if you'd really say it like that. We'll get fixed up some equipment. Yeah. Just wait. Oh, no, I was supposed to do that. I thought maybe, um... Did I say Cannon? Is that your name? How did I know that? Okay, I mean, if you've played the end... Huh. I mean, some of these things you really won't know, you won't really think much of that. You just think sort of normal RPG, he'd know his name. But, 
No, that's okay. There are clues that I never noticed before. I mean, taking time talking and reading. I mean, I was beating the button in other games when playing, but I like this a bit more. Hey, there's a familiar uniform. Oh, there's a lot of cool. I hope we went to fight soon. I want to show you some other cool touches. Everyone is in a bad mood. You know what? I, d I have no clue how long I've been playing this, but I'm sure it's been an episode length. So let's see what happens in the next two seconds, and then the Ural Road. Well, mug people. Can I pause it? Just yeah, it's not into her. I'm not into. Her. He's stealing though. I mean, you're in a poor world. Sure, what to make of some of that? Have we got a menu yet? Yeah, we'll have a nose at this menu. Um, next episode. Oh, for at least 50 minutes from playing. Then I guess by that time. So this is farewell, farewell, but not forever. <laughs>